Be careful. <laughs> what was your reaction when you first heard Lupita's voice? I was a little bit shocked because I had always heard her talking regularly and she's so sweet and her voice is so calm and then, I don't know, this, <laughs> it really freaked me out. <laughs> chills. Chills. Definite chills. Hey, okay, 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 okay. Well, I was like, wow, that's big choice, that's scary, that is just a brave choice because it's so out there. But I understand why she's doing it. Throughout the movie, it becomes more clear, but it's pretty wild. First time we heard the voice, we were shooting the fireplace scene, and you could hear a pin drop. Crew members were scared hearing that. And when Lupita would be on set, we only shot her red character on certain days and in her good character on other days, never the same day. Because she would get into that character and then she would inhabit it all day. Um, and I learned the hard way to not try to make small talk with her on the red days. Run. How did you come up with that voice for this film? Well, I was inspired by the condition spasmodic dysphonia, which is a condition that comes about from a trauma, sometimes emotional, sometimes physical, and it creates this spasming in your vocal cords that leads to, you know, an irregular flow of air. So I studied that. I worked with an ear, nose, and throat doctor, a vocal therapist, and my dialect coach to try and make sure I could do it and do it safely, because I had two roles to play. I couldn't afford to damage my voice. Did your voice ever hurt at all? It seems like it would after watching that. No, in the beginning when I was still trying it out and building on it because it's inspired by the condition but it's not an exact replica of the condition. So, you know, while I was practicing and figuring it out, I definitely scratched my throat a few times. But by the time we got to filming it, I was pretty set on how it should go and I was very good at warming up my voice and cooling it down. 